Ladies and gentlemen, this has truly been an extraordinary two days here in the city of Norfolk. Norfolk has come back uh, more resilient and more defined because of you. You have brought the world to Norfolk to redefine multi-sector resilience. And again, we have made significant headway. And again, I want to thank uh, General Lanata and his entire staff. Let's give them a round of applause. You, for the effort that went into preparing for and implementing this conference. Interdependency in resilience is a complex subject. It just took experts uh, to prepare, to unpack the complexity of this subject so that representatives from each sector could understand their role and carry on fruitful conversations. Also want to thank the participants who came here to work hard and hard you work to help build the practice of multi-sector urban resilience. We've made an important advances uh, the last couple of days, but I think you will agree, we have more work to do. NATO's leadership has been clear. The nature of contemporary threats are changing. And in response, NATO must also change to better prepare and to deter, to defend against current and emerging threats. NATO faces a world in which its success is closely tied to the ability of the civil and private sectors to be more resilient. In short, what, what partners such as energy companies and transportation organizations and city governments can do? Well, we have to help. We will together uh, help NATO and its ability to defend against the present and future threats. No longer can governments unilaterally control the flow of energy, traffic, or people. Private and civil sectors now control assets that impact NATO's ability to move quickly and decisively. Cities face new challenges, such as climate change, which can alter conditions on the ground. When we once could ensure our military partners that roads would be passable, we now face a future in which our infrastructures is under threat from natural events. Frequent, frequent flooding routinely blocks traffic now. Tornadoes destroy electrical distribution systems in cities which storms were unheard of in the past. Some cities like Norfolk, we have chosen to face these challenges head on. Cities like ours are seeking out partners to find solutions to these evolving problems. We're embracing the challenges we need to. While change is never easy, it's often easier to embrace when you have partners that are willing to move with you. During this conference, we have clearly seen that we have partners who are willing to move with us. I thank you for coming to Norfolk and for embracing the change before us, as well as for your willingness to partner with us and to understand that cities both need help and can serve as an important part of the solution. Cities are increasingly becoming the place where people are choosing to live. This fact makes cities important and it makes all the more critical that we work together to ensure that all cities are better able to survive whatever comes its way. I thank you all for choosing Norfolk uh, for this conference. Norfolk stands ready to be a partner in any way that we can to anyone who's brave enough to embrace the change that builds upon urban resilience. Safe travels. I look forward to welcome you back to Norfolk very soon. Thank you for being here.